Hello YouTube. Today guys, I'm going to be doing the long anticipated, the long waited for, the greatest video game player ever, gaming legend, Polo Grimm's Dark Souls 3 boss ranking tier list. Um, this, this rank, this video will be done a little bit on, you know, the difficulty, but more on just the overall dopeness of these bosses. So, Gundir, S tier, automatic S tier for gun deer. You wanna know why? Because bro, get good. You can't get past the first boss, you're not gonna beat the game. Alright, next. Uh da -da 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 -da. this dude, automatic D tier. I forget his name. It's a dumb fight. It's always easy. It doesn't make sense in the DLC. Next, Yorm the Giant. Uh people are gonna hate me for this one. Maybe, maybe not. D tier, bro. You know, gimmick fight with a sword. Eh. High Lord Walnir D tier. Easy. Vort of Boreal Valley. Um, either, definitely not A tier, but I'm going to go with an easy, I'm going to go high, so we're going to put him at the bottom, we're going to put him back in C tier, High Lord Walnir, ah, he can stay, he can be at the very back of C, Abyss Watchers, easy A tier, Aldrich, uh, definitely S tier, uh, not in front of Gundir though, Ancient Wyvern, uh, cool area, Nameless Kings there, uh, but for him, Gimmick Fight, he can take a spot in D tier. Champion Gundir, in my opinion, one of, if not the hardest boss in the game. Does not deserve S tier, though. He can go in A tier behind Abyss Watchers. Next, we have the Wolf. Behind Vort. He goes behind Vort. All right, Deacons of the Deep, also C tier. And, uh, you know, he's going to take the back of C tier. And then we go Crystal Sage is going to be da 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 in C tier as well. Up oh, tree tree boss, I forget his name. Curse Water Curse uh Rider Great Wood. He is na 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 kinda hard for me to know hit when I did it. Um just because of that little AoE attack he has. But I ended up getting it and it wasn't that hard, actually. I uh, know I'm contradicting myself. But we'll put him right here behind Crystal Sage. Dancer Dancer was the first boss, first like hard boss that I know hit. Learn how to do that with the dark hand level 12. Really not that good, but anyway, I think that the dancer deserves a S tier. Honestly, I love the dancer fight. Um, you know, I love how you can just go to Lothar Castle at the very beginning of the game. I'm gonna put him in front of Aldrich, actually. Dark Eater Madeer. I think people are gonna hate me if I don't put him in S tier, so he's going B tier. Demon Prince. Uh, people are gonna hate me if I don't put him in A tier, so he's going B tier. Dragon Slayer Armor. I think is back of A tier. Lothric and Lorien. Uh, arguably my favorite fight in the game, so he is going to go in front of Gundir. Actually, crazy, right? Oh my God. Osiris. Uh, I think he is like the quintessential bottom of the B tier. I know to put him above Vord is kind of controversial, but that's uh, okay. Nameless King. Let's put Nameless King. I love the first phase of the fight. Second phase of the fight, not that hard. Uh, I'm putting him at the front of A tier. Old Demon King. Beautiful. Where's he going to go? I feel like that's kind of cheating to put Yorm in C tier, but then again, eh, I don't care. You want to know why? Because Pontiff Sullivan gets an easy, easy uh, S tier in front of Aldrich, dude. And then I don't think Aldrich is better than the Dancer either. So, bam, there we go. Soul of Cinder. This is, in my opinion, the hardest boss fight in the Souls Dark Souls 3, you want to know why? Because you got to learn so much. You got to learn however many phases. You got three. You got like the mage phase, the staff phase, the sword phase, the whatever phase. So he, in my opinion, is the hardest boss in Dark Souls 3, even over Slave Knight, Gareth, Sister Freed. And I think they both deserve S tier, but I'm not going to put them over the main game S tier because I think the main game is just, you know, amazing. Soul of Cinder, that leaves my Soul of Cinder for not D tier. Hell no, not D tier. He got to go da 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 definitely S tier. I just don't know where. I mean, honestly, bro, I got to put him behind Nameless King. I think Nameless King fights a little bit better than him. Abyss Watchers is an amazing fight. I almost think that's better than Nameless King. Champion Gundir, in my opinion, is harder than Nameless King, but the Nameless King is cooler. But then again, the area leading up to Champion Gundir is super dope. I don't know. Dragon Slayer armor could almost go S tier for me. 
Uh, so this is it. This is so if you're just watching this video to see my tier list, this is it. But then I'm going to go ahead and give you my unbiased opinion. Dragon Slayer is S tier. Champion Gunner is S tier. Nameless King is S tier. Abyss Watchers are S tier. Solar Cinder is S tier. Uh, uh, yeah. And then A tier. Uh, why did I put Dark Eater Madeira in, a in B tier? Definitely not B tier. Uh, boom. These will go up. Vort is definitely B. Crystal Sage is definitely bottom of C. Deacons of the Deep is behind him. Walner is behind him. Old Demon King is behind Crystal Sage. Yorm can go B tier. Uh, yep. And there you go. That's the actual list. So sue me if you want. I don't care. This was an amazing video to make, guys. Long awaited Dark Souls video. You have it here first. Thank you guys for tuning in. Polo Grim out.